Okay, I want to make a quick video here about how to clean the media sensor. If you're getting media out errors or skipping of labels in a Zebra 400 series, a ZT 400 series printer, um, I just returned from a service call and I want to go over some of the things that uh, I performed while I was on site to clear a printer uh, to give it more reliable behavior. Uh, and, you know, again, if you're getting media out errors, skipping of labels or just labels aren't printing on the right part of the labels like printing across the gaps um, the media sensor on the 400 series printer um, this is like the media loading uh, video from zebra uh, is right in this area here um, the material the label material passes under this guide plate okay and it goes through this kind of like fork shaped sensor and then over the platen roller and you know uh, gets you know, exposed to the printhead for printing. Um, now they've made an improvement um, compared to one of my earlier videos where I was servicing this sensor area and it was quite involved in trying to get material out of there. Um, Zebra has since improved the design I'm glad to see. Uh, this little um, plastic piece here slides out and I'm gonna show you that in some of the pictures I took while I was on site. Now um, the, a lot of the photos you're going to see in the video are viewed from under here because um, and, and you'll see the underside of this plate the underside of this plastic area and then I tried to take as many photos showing you the interior of this little section right in here where the sensor uh, was uh, contaminated with lots of label material so uh, but basically uh, I got to be honest with you, I sort of discovered by accident as I was cleaning this that this piece here just slides out, which is a brilliant idea uh, because before you almost had to replace this entire media sensor assembly um, because I disassembled it in one of the videos and it really was not meant to be disassembled, to be honest with you. But this 400 series removes that need now, which is great, uh, easier to clean. Um, so basically, you're going to see a bunch of photos now, and I'll explain what I was doing from viewed from uh, this direction under here. What I do with these printers, just so you kind of have a good cleaning tip, is I take the printer and I and I lay it on its side. So with the firewall, that's you know what this surface is here, uh, where the motherboard is. I put that side downward so that I can get a sort of a a view of this printer, almost like on an operating table viewing. Uh, you can really get at that underside to get at that sensor way easier. So pretty basic, but just flip it on its side, put this side, you know, the motherboard side downward so you can kind of really get a view up into that sensor area, and then you'll be able to slide this piece out. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go through some of the pictures I took here while I was on site. Um, so we'll kind of move that over here. Uh, so I kind of uh, have this viewing with the large icons here, but you can see what it was like when I first showed up, um, fully contaminated. So again, now we're viewing with the printer turned on its side, we're viewing kind of that sensor area, and you can see that hole. So the label material comes along and it makes contact with this plate. Um, this plate has a spring action to it to sort of almost like a shock absorber to prevent breakage of material. But you can see it was pretty gummed up with a lot of label residue right up into the sensor area here. So what I would traditionally do is I'd get a paper towel, douse it with isopropyl alcohol and just run it back and forth through there. And I would also take a rag with a flathead screwdriver and put the flathead screwdriver over the rag and douse the rag with lots of alcohol and just try and get in there as best I could. Um, and uh, you'll see in some of the pictures I actually then later was able to run my cleaning cloth like through this area back and forth doused with alcohol through this area here but uh, the other tool that I use and you'll see it in some of the pictures is I use a plastic scraper uh, believe it or not it's the same kind of scraper you might find at the store for washing and scraping dishes off in the kitchen because it gives a good scraping action but it's not as tough on the printer as a metal scraper would be so anyway so that's kind of the before picture here and there was material all up in here and you'll see in the pictures where as I was cleaning this I discovered that this piece here just slides right out uh, which makes it real easy for cleaning so uh, a couple more photos here closer in you can see you know in that key area here lots of material and what happens is if you get that adhesive buildup in there 
um, you know, that stickiness is going to just attract more labels to peel off in there. Before you know it, you've got quite a mess. So uh, you really have to try to get not just the label material that's in there, but any kind of residue of any adhesive out of there. Um, and isopropyl alcohol is what I use. Uh, you could use other types of cleaners, but you don't want anything too strong. Like goof off can actually be almost too strong. Uh, but on a printer that's really messy, you may have to use that at first. So um, anyway, uh, getting in closer, more photos here uh, of, you know, the area in that sensor area. Um, here's one showing the front of the unit. I have it on its side. Okay, you can see how I have that kind of laying down. I bring a flashlight. Definitely you need as much light into that area as you can get while you're cleaning, right? So have a good light with you. Um, I start here with, you know, starting to remove some of the material, and you can see it's kind of loosening up here. The adhesive's coming off, uh, you know, and the label material is sort of dislodging, you know, here. This is before I know that plastic piece slides out, you know. So, um, so uh, here's my view uh, where I'm looking down at it when the printer's laid on its side. I got the flashlight in there. So you're getting right in there, you know. So this is where the label material normally comes through. You can see it's quite a mess in there, um, you know, for uh, contamination in there. So uh, let's see, get in a couple more photos here. Okay, so here's where I show you where I got the rag in there, and I'm going back and forth with the rag uh, to get that cleaned up. Okay, so um, you want to get in there as much as you can. Uh, the sensor is pretty well protected, but you know, you could see some of the alcohol here, but basically trying to get that adhesive to loosen up with the isopropyl alcohol. Uh, and so that kind of shows that procedure. Okay, so it's starting to get cleaned out here. You can see it looks much better already. I got a lot of, you can see all the material down here that I've removed. Uh, let's see. Here I'm showing you like how I take the flathead screwdriver and I put the rag over it because there are some places that, you know, even with that piece removed, you can see here now I've got that piece slid off of here. Um, and I get in there with the flathead screwdriver covered with the rag and this is the whole area in here that you need to clean out and get that spotless you know without any adhesive in there um, okay so here's where I show you um, how you can slide that piece that 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 part of the sensor just slides right out of there and it snaps back in so it's pretty simple to figure that out um, when you take it out it's pretty obvious how it goes back in right so whenever you take something off always as you're doing it kind of pay attention to how it was when when it was uh, in place right so you know how to put it back and then here's another picture of the sensor like pulled out uh, yeah so and then here's a here's a, a picture of the sensor completely uh, the, the cover taken off you can see my uh, plastic scraper here Here's a good view of like, uh, you know, that inner area. Uh, I got that plastic scraper right into there. Uh, even when the label material was gone, there was all this adhesive residue left behind and you gotta get all that out of there. You gotta scrape that up and get some uh, alcohol in there any way you can. But I had to eventually just get in there and scrape that with that plastic scraper, remove all that material that's stuck in there. Cause you're gonna get more labels coming in there getting jammed in there right so uh, yeah so you start to see here it looks a lot better it's a lot cleaner that plate is all cleaned off now even though that plate isn't near the sensor that's going to cause thing labels to peel off and then get caught in there so you want anything that the label material touches to be smooth so that it's as frictionless as possible you want that material to slide through I even found some labels stuck to the back surface where they were using fan fold material uh, where the fan fold material comes into the back of the printer, I found a piece of label stuck on there and I cleaned all that up because you don't want stuff peeling off or starting to peel off back there and then finishing up peeling off up here, right? So, um, and just kind of get in here, let you see, get the benefit of these pictures here. Uh, so you can see I'm kind of showing you the inside area. And even when I'm done with the whole thing, there is a little bit of so sort of like scratched looking plastic but it was clean by the time I was done but you could see there's no um, adhesive in that area um, again running that you know paper towel or like a cleaning rag once you get that plastic piece removed you can uh, get a, a rag in there pretty easily 
Then I also had to go down in there with the screwdriver, flathead screwdriver covered with the rag and just kind of get as much material out of there as you can. Um, so it's kind of the after photo right here showing the plates completely clean. Um, this white area here is just some of the scratches on the plastic uh, that remained. But um, you know this metal area here all was covered with labels and that all had to be cleaned up you know by the end by the time I was done. So we ran some jobs afterwards um, and it you know printed like a champ so it was fine. So just thought I'd kind of give you guys like so if you're getting you know label out errors, media out errors, skipping of labels, you got to get into that media sensor and give that a good cleaning. I also clean up you know of course in the print head and the platen roller and then on, on the roof of this surface right here uh, that that little plastic piece there I clean all that up because that's used by some of the ribbon sensing as well as there's like a reflective surface in there that I just get I clean it up as much as possible on the underside of this area where the kind of like um, before the print head on the top there and then I clean up the print head and the platen roller as well you can take the platen roller and just rotate it in the direction uh, that it normally um, rotates when it's printing and just clean that back and forth with the alcohol rag and then pull it forward in the direction that the, it would normally go when it's printing and you rotate that platen roller until you get the whole thing clean because uh, you don't want anything um, you know any contamination or stickiness of adhesive on there as well so anyway hope that helps with the zebra 400 series for media or media out errors thanks